Most web designers build offers backwards. They start with the price, but not the value. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you structure your offer to turn 500 clients into $5,000 plus with recurring income. I mean, you've probably heard people say, oh, you need a better offer. Your offer is what sells, but what does that actually mean? So let's get into it. So this is my 500 to $5,000 offer framework, all right? I've got a full on visual breakdown I'm gonna be showing you. So this is how you can turn every client into a long-term income stream. Now, this is what I use for my exact agency, Next Up Web Design, okay? actually doing this and just some recent payments that have come in also i don't know why that question mark is there so again everyone talks about landing 5k clients okay but nobody shows you how you turn a 500 dollars client into one all right people think all right you're either closing someone for 500 dollars or five thousand dollars and that's it you move on to the next client but that's not the case okay so i'm going to show you the system that does that as you can see over here, piss poor, zero to five hundred dollar one-time payments, and that's it. And then we want to go into five thousand dollar projects plus and building up recurring revenue. So, what is the actual uh, evolution of a web designer? So, this is probably you now, okay? Just a basic designer. We're going to turn you into a strategist. So, this will be you after applying the system. And then the end goal is to be an operator. So, you once backend and ads are active, and I'll explain what all of this means. So this is a quick overview of the offer system. Now, this is, keep in mind throughout this video, I mentioned it here and there, it can vary depending on what industries you work in, okay? But this overall for web design is, is basically what we're working with, okay? So firstly, we have the entry offer or some sort of starter system. Secondly, we have the high ticket website and the core offer. Thirdly, backend and AI systems and then building up some recurring revenue. And then we're looking at paid ads and a growth offer and then into long-term re retainer and client flyer. I'm gonna break down each single one of these to show you what it means, how you can implement it for yourself. So at the start here, again, I'll break it down. We have a low friction entry and then down the bottom, down the bottom of the funnel as it gets a bit tighter and squeezed, we got a high trust and higher margin. So how this offer system actually works is you should think of it like a value staircase. So each step isn't exactly a new service as such. I see it more as a natural evolution of the relationship with your client. So you start with something that's simple and easy just to uh, prove trust and especially cheap as well. So you're proving trust and then you're adding layers of value and automation until you're becoming part of the client's business. That's how a one time uh, $500 sale basically grows into that 5k plus recurring predictably that's the, that's the main thing as well so the first two like these first two points here they're kind of kind of starting both for step one because you can skip this one and go straight to the leading offer so i'll explain that right now so the entry point and growth offer this this is offer this is where most people get stuck by the way so it is a tricky part because you've got two ways to start but i'll show you how it's pretty simple anyway you if you're new or you have low traffic or you're just starting small which most people watching this video would be in that position a free or low cost site will be building proof a portfolio and trust but if you already have some attention or inbound leads, you can actually skip straight to your leading offer, which is a three to 5K plus high value website that positions you as a professional from day one. So your first offer is the handshake, right? And the second is like the business card in a way. So the goal isn't exactly to profit from this first step. Obviously we will probably either way, but it's not the goal. That's why you can do it for free and it won't make a difference because once trust exists, you can start stacking the value. So it's like dating, all right? This is a pretty good analogy. Think of it like dating. You don't ask someone to marry you before the first coffee, before your first date. You build up a relationship. You might pay the bill, all right? You're building trust, you're, that you're learning about each other. It is literally the exact same thing with client relationships in web design. So always think of it like that, okay? So you can either, I always say like, to break this down very simply, I always say to people, if you have no portfolio and you're just getting started, do websites for free. Whether this is coming inbound leads or we're doing outreach, offer it for free, okay? But if you've already done a couple sites or you're confident in sales and you have good skills, a good portfolio, you can go straight into the leading offer, okay? It doesn't matter. Either way, this is to just get the foundation, the website up. I always say, I, I lead with a web design agency, but it's basically a marketing agency. It's just that websites, every business needs a website. Every business basically knows they need a website. It is like the front door to the rest of the business, if you know what I mean. So whether we're doing, again, a cheap or low or a cheap or nothing low friction entry 
or again, a leading offer, which is still low friction. This is what we're leading with, with kind of our offer system. Then we're going to go down the funnel. Now we're going to turn their website into a working system. So once the site is live, the client's next problem isn't design, it's leads and time. So this is where you add systems and automation that saves hours and makes your clients money. Now you're no longer the web guy anymore, okay? You're part of their business's backbone. And we're basically trying to get as involved into their business as possible. Now, the client will start paying you every month for this, okay? I'll explain what it is. But you've built them a website. Now, you're making it work for them. So, what exactly will be offered? So, you can do different things like a CRM, automated lead magnet, um, so no leads are getting lost, AI content, DM automation, booking and scheduling tools, monthly reporting. Um, you can do like a custom like AI dashboard that links everything up. Um, again, it really varies industry to industry, but no matter what, there is so many backend things that you can do off the foundation of a website that will help their business grow, whether it's getting more leads, saving time at the end of the day, it's all saving money and making money, okay? And why this is making you money is because you're no longer trading hours, okay? You're selling an infrastructure that you build once and you get paid passively monthly, maybe a bit of maintaining or adding more things onto it, we'll get into that. But clients are not gonna cancel systems that are making them money, right? It's like, say, I guess we're offering values making them money. I guess you can look at it like Netflix, like you're paying to, to get, you're not gonna really cancel, you. once you, let's be honest, who's gonna cancel like their Netflix or Spotify subscription? Most people watching this, you've probably had it for years. Are you gonna cancel anytime soon? No, all right, because what is, what is it doing? It's giving you value in the form of entertainment. Why would a business cancel a subscription that's making you more and more money each month? I guess you can look at it that way, all right? And it's sticky because each month you could be adding more and more value, all right? And you're just not getting more work for yourself. As I mentioned, the website is the shop front. The back end is the staff working inside at 24-7. Going down the funnel, now we've got the paid ads and the growth layer, okay? And by the way, guys, I'm going to be showing you how this is all coming together at the end and how you all kind of implement it for yourself. And just a quick reminder, top link in the description, I'm going to be launching the Web Agency Club uh, next month. We're going to be doing like a soft launch for everyone in my free uh, Discord community. So first link in the description, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be too late. Join and you'll have the chance to join it for free. Basically, it's a private network of web designers. We're doing weekly calls, monthly special guest masterclass. I got all of my blueprints, all of my agency SOPs. Long story short, it will help you a lot in web design, okay? Um, but then we're gonna be closing the doors and then it will be paid and then whatever, but I'll do a big announcement on that. So the paid ads and growth layer, back to the video. So now we're gonna be pure pouring fuel onto the proven engine, okay? So once you've got the website and systems that are making money, why would you stop there, right? There's, we've got the, the best foundation set, let's pour gasoline on it. This is where we're multiplying it, okay? So we're gonna take the system that's working organically and now drive traffic to it using paid ads, Facebook, Google, Instagram, whatever brings leads through your already built funnel, okay? Obviously, it's gonna make you money because it's a performance-based offer. Easy to sell because ROI is very measurable, measurable unlike doing a bit of like, even SEO and doing organic is a bit hard to track, you know, where this where these leads are coming from and who, you know what I mean, but it's performance based, it's very easy to track, okay? So you can charge a management fee, a profit share, there's a few different ways you can go about it, but once ads perform, once again, clients, why would they leave? Why would you leave something that's making you money? And then we get into the last one, which is um, kind of like long-term retainers and client fly reel. As I said, it's not just web design. We can expand to so many different things that become more profitable, easier on our end. So this is where we're going from projects to predictable income. So you're graduating at this stage from a designer who just delivers projects to an actual business partner who's driving ROI, who's actually like super important in that person's business, okay? You're no longer getting paid for pages, you're getting paid for growth, super important. And when you reach this stage, every client's gonna become a long-term asset. Whatever service you add next, whether that be email marketing, video content, in-house benefits, like whether you're doing it locally or not, going actually deeper into the business, looking at their systems and adding some stuff in, adjusting some stuff. They'll say yes to whatever you pitch basically because your system has already continuously made them money, all right? So the offer structure overview for, for this, by the way, 
Um, again, ROI based uh, stacking, and it's not like you're doing maintenance. So you can do a core retainer. So this will just be like ongoing management, similar to before, like recurring, you know, monthly income. Um, you're going to be adding a bunch of new expansion layers. So as I said, you can do so many different things. Like just depends industry to industry. Um, and you can do it like a performance or an ROI clause. So you can structure it as a monthly retainer, like a core retainer, as I said, or you can do this way of getting into like contracts. You can charge quarterly, so every couple months, like an upfront bill contract, or like a bit of a hybrid thing, depending on what you're doing. So upfront contracts create predictability for you, and retainers obviously compound the income. You can mix both to build consistent cash flow and scale capital. This will be making you money though, because every new service runs through a system that you already control. You have gone so deep into their business now and put things here and here and here. Why would they stop working with you? Why would they stop paying you money? If they stop working with you, their business is doomed, all right? So your client acquisition cost is zero now. You're not getting more and more leads starting fresh each month. You're just deepening the existing relationships you have with each client. And this is super cool when, say, you're getting clients with paid ads or inbound your kind of lifetime value of that client when you look at your ad spend and then how much money you're making off clients, it's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty cool. So return on investment equals trust, all right? Trust is more services, more services, more recurring revenue, okay? And you can kind of look at a little, all right, this is the foundation, the website, you implement some backend systems, you pour gasoline over paid ads, then you can keep refining and opening new rooms like the email automation. We can help them with doing their business content and AI sales chatbot, all right? So it's like you're becoming the architect of their business, basically. You've designed their house, which is their website, but now you're managing the extensions, which would be like these last three, all right? So you can keep adding on different like rooms. You can think about it in a way. And this is all more income for you and your agency. So, all right, that's cool and all, but how do we implement this system for yourself? So you don't need new skills. You need structure, all right? If you're going to take one thing out of this video, take that. So follow this order. You'll never have to rely on luck again. These are your action steps, okay? Number one, we're going to build a simple low friction offer anywhere from five, like up to $500 or free. This is like a landing page, a basic website. So just something that you can offer them that's low friction that can get them results fast and is cheap and easy for you to do. And then, or again, as we mentioned, we can go straight to the second step depending on where you're at. Our core offer, so our high ticket website, anywhere from three to $5,000. From there, we're gonna be looking at adding at least one recurring system, 300 to $500 a month. So this might be um, automating their backend with AI or could be a, bu a bunch of some sort of system like say it's a gym you've built their website but now we want to implement how they can accept bookings or people can purchase pricing plan memberships on the website adjust their classes um just everything all that type of back-end systems and then number four layer on ads or some sort of like organic content for lead flow so this is pouring the gasoline you can start charging 1k profit at least monthly obviously they have to pay for the ad spend or whatever the system would be but you can look at at least doing 800 to a thousand dollars profit monthly with just that um keep clients long term then through consistent results by implementing more systems opening more rooms into like the architecture of their business their building you know what i mean um contracts whatnot so I, I drew this up. I'm going to run you through how I can kind of like, how you can see this happening with that offer into like real money, all right? So M1, so month one. So say you could close three new clients on the low friction offer. So you might get 500 from this bloke, 500 from this bloke. This bloke might only pay you 200, but whatever, it's money, you accept it. And then month two, this $500 low friction offer, you may then upsell them into a more high ticket thing. You've already impressed them. They've got a few results from their landing page. All right, let's do a full out website now or something, depending, all right? You might close this one for 5K, one for 4K. This one, you might not close. It's kind of the end of the road for this client. Oh, well, we might come back to them later. But then you also close uh, two more clients for a new website, the low friction offer for 5K. You see how we've already built up some money, all right? Go into month three now. These little green things are recurring revenue. So after we've built the foundation for this website, we're pouring gasoline and you've closed them on paid ad offers, okay? Or some sort of like um, system, all right? I guess it'd be system first. So you close this one for 500, this one for 400. Now, as each month goes along, this will be recurring revenue, okay? That's always gonna be there. It's only gonna go up. On top of that for month three, if we look down here, with to close two of these uh, five hundred dollar low friction offers into like five and four k high ticket websites, and we've also closed three more this month new 
low friction offers that can then go into high ticket that can then go into recurring like these guys up here then into ads so this is how instead of starting fresh each month looking for clients closing them for whatever you can we're building client relationships and we're trying to make this kind of like an upside down staircase all right each month get longer and longer with payments okay so the final thoughts are your offer basically is the business so everything is coming down to the offer if your offer is weak no system really is going to save you it doesn't matter but if your offer is strong every message ad and client conversation will work in your favor <clears throat> and the difference between a 500 dollars designer and a five thousand dollar operator like what i mentioned at the start isn't skill it is structure which is what we went over so your offer it basically you can think about it as Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Your offer is a bridge between what you can do and what your clients are actually going to pay for, right? So strong offer, easier sales, higher ROI, and predictable growth. As I mentioned earlier, the Web Agency Club, this is the logo here, will be releasing next month. I promise you, there is so many great things. I can't wait to show you. I haven't really showed much apart from a few different screenshots. It is sick. It's not just another Discord or school community. It's a lot, lot bigger than that, okay? It's going to be on Circle, which is like I mentioned in the last video, like school and Discord on steroids. Um, it's like a one, if you're not in it for free through the um, uh, Discord, again, last chance, join now. If you do pay, it'll still only be like 500 compared to like two or 3,000, what all the other web designer mentorships are. Um, and that's lifetime access, all right? We're doing weekly calls, monthly special guests. We're doing all my blueprints, all my SOPs, just giving out everything that you can start and scale your web design agency. Um, but this is the blueprint, guys, all right? If you need to go over this video again, do it. I hope when we go back and look at some of these things now, like the overall funnel that makes more sense, the evolution of a web designer, that makes more sense now. Um, but implement this system, guys. Again, do what works for you. It can be different um, depending on what industry you're serving. But this overall is how you structure your offer and make money in web design. Thanks a lot.